Hello folks, uh, just a real quick video today. Uh, I'm getting ready to build a new PC with an AMD Ryzen processor. And I've talked about the Innovation Cooling Graphite Thermal Pads a couple times in the past, but I've always used them with Intel processors, specifically kind of the consumer grade size, um, like 1150X size uh, processors uh, with that size heat spreader. And for those, I've always used the 30 by 30 millimeter pad uh, I have seen a couple people ask uh, what size pad to use for the Ryzen processors. Uh, so I'm just going to show right now kind of the difference between the two sizes and which one I would recommend you use. Uh, so here I have a Ryzen 7 2700X processor. And the heat spreader is quite a bit larger uh, than Intel's kind of common consumer size heat spreader on their uh, kind of consumer series of processors. Uh, so this is the 30 by 30 pad. And actually, you can even see the indentation because this was on a processor before in Intel. And you can kind of see the indentation where that heat spreader was before. So pretty obvious this uh, pad does not fully cover the heat spreader on the Ryzen CPU. Now this size pad probably would be adequate. Um, you know, the die size is going to be a lot smaller underneath the heat spreader. So uh, this size thermal pad would probably be okay. Uh, but I would recommend, and this is the 30 by 30 millimeter but I would recommend going with the 40 by 40 millimeter on the Ryzen CPU. Uh, so if you put that on there, you can see it does fully cover the heat spreader. Now it's actually slightly larger than the heat spreader. If I kind of hold it there, you can see uh, just a tiny bit wider uh, in each dimension than the heat spreader. So it will overhang just a tiny bit, um, but that little bit of an overhang won't be an issue and um, specifically with these thermal pads, I would prefer to have uh, full, full contact with the heat spreader or at least as full as possible. And then uh, likewise, also as much possible contact with the plate of the cooler also. Uh, and one of the big reasons for this is that the graphite thermal pads, uh, even better than their heat transfer through themselves from one surface to another, is their actual transfer of heat across the pad itself. So the pads actually transfer heat laterally across their own surface very, very well. For me personally, I would just prefer to have as much surface area possible in that heat spreader so that as the heat transfers from the die through the heat spreader and into the pad, it'll transfer across the, as much surface area of that pad as possible to get uh, to transfer into the, the contact surface of the cooler. But just wanted to show the difference in the two sizes of pads as compared to the Ryzen heat spreader so that you have kind of a better idea of which size pad you want to go with. Again, I would definitely recommend going with the larger size. If you're worried about the overhang, these can be trimmed fairly easily with a scissors or even just a knife. So, uh, But for me, that tiny little bit of overhang wouldn't bother me. I would just, just put this one on as is and go with it. Uh, so that's it. Just a quick video. Just wanted to show you the size comparison of the Innovation Cooling Graphite Thermal Pads with the Ryzen CPU heat spreader. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.